Hey guys, I go by Ghost Boy Ghoul, and I'm a Final Fantasy VII fan who doesn't know much about Apex, but I'm gonna buy out most, if not the entire shop here, so let's get into it. Also, before we start, just to show how a newbie I really am, I only started playing this game when I heard there's gonna be a Final Fantasy VII crossover event, uh, because I'm a big FF7 fan, I'm gonna put a little time into it, check it out and stuff. I actually normally don't even play shooting games, uh, but I've got a few friends who play this game, so I'm gonna get most, if not all, the Final Fantasy VII stuff within it, and, uh, have some fun. But yeah, here, like, I've only played 30 games at this point, I still barely even know what I'm doing, but hey. Alright, so I did a little research, and I guess to buy out the entire Final Fantasy VII endgame items here, you've got to buy two of these $130 packs here, $120, $130 pack, and one of the, these $71, $79 packs to get everything, um, for the amount of coins it costs, so... I bought one of these for now, and I'll buy the others if I need to, but what I'm going to try to pull is my four favorite characters and the Buster Sword. And I understand it's less than a 1% chance of actually pulling the Buster Sword, um, so chances are more, way more likely that I'm going to end up buying both of these and one of these. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to buy one at a time, go with the flow. And uh, if I get the four, four of the six characters that I want and the Buster Sword, I'll, I'll stop there. But chances are that I'm going to buy all, all of them. All right, now we've got our Legends here. Um, I'm going to go for the loot packs because you have chances of pulling these in the loot packs. And uh, since I'm trying to pull the Buster Sword, that's the only way to get that. Uh, so, but you can look at them here. And the Seventh he Heaven skr Skirmisher outfit for Wraith here it's supposed to be Tifa because the seventh heaven is Tifa's bar in the game uh but as you can see the little cloak she has that's not actually part of Tifa's usual gear that's actually like more part of Vincent's so like here's what Tifa looks like right but and uh it for the most part it looks like it but the cloak not so much the cloak you can actually see the little belts on um around the neck there that like that uh Wraith has got going on and that actually looks more like Vincent. There's uh, Tifa in the background there from the movie uh, Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. And I think this fit is a little bit more of a mix of both Tifa and Vincent. Now, next we've got... Aerith. And <laughs> it's funny because she does not look very good here. Um... And Aerith is, like, super pretty, and she doesn't, like, she doesn't really, uh, Horizon doesn't really pull it off, I'm sorry to say. Now, I really like the way Horizon looks here, but, like, if you look in the actual Legends, like, Horizon actually does look pretty good. I think it's the hair that, like, it just makes the face look different or something. I don't know what it is, but Horizon in her, her, her original fit looks alright. But, uh, <clears throat> back to event offers here. We've got Crypto as Cloud Strife, and that little yellow flower there is a gift from Aerith near the beginning of uh, both the original game and Remake, which is a sequel. Um, we've got Cloud, if you don't, and if you've never played Final Fantasy VII or you don't know who these characters are, um, maybe you know them from Kingdom Hearts or Smash Bros, right, because they're in those two, but... Yeah, so he's our iconic character. He does look pretty good. I noticed on the back of Crypto, he's got like a small little buster sword on him too. I don't know if I can turn him around or anything. Oh no, I just reset him. But anyways, that actually does look pretty good. Um, and next we've got Barret For the character Newcastle. And this looks pretty spot on. Like, there's not a lot of differences going on. Even his one arm has got like... The little uh, chambers, like at, for the for his Gatling gun, so that's pretty sick. And it says Avalanche up there on his shoulder uh, piece, which is pretty sweet. That's the Rebel group he runs, so that's pretty dope. Now, next we've got the Valkyrie skin for Yuffie. I really like this one. This is Yuffie. Uh, looks pretty damn cool. On the back, she's got. The shuriken, that's actually what Yuffie uses for a weapon. She's like a little ninja. Yeah, she looks damn good. And I like the little cactar that they put on her chest there too. That, that's awesome. I definitely really want this one. So this is one of them. One of the ones that I'll be getting for sure. Uh, next up. 
last but not least, we've got Watson skin in a little uh, Moogle fan outfit. Uh, we could see, this is what a, like, a Moogle looks like. They're um, a universal character in pretty much all Final Fantasies, I believe. Uh, but that's uh, Moogle coming out as a summon with some materia, a photo of, uh, just for reference. And, uh, yeah, I, th I think it's pretty cool. You can, in Final Fantasy VII, you see other characters kind of dressing up as you go, um, a Moogle, kind of like Yuffie does here. Uh, that's from the PS5 uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate DLC as well. But anyways, out of these outfits, um... So out of these outfits, we've got Crypto there, we've got uh, Wraith here, Newcastle here, Horizon here, Valkyrie here, and Watson here. Uh, so we uh, don't get any Assault um, class for a Final Fantasy VII fit, but we do get Recon support, three Skirmishers, and one Controller, which is pretty cool. It'd be neat if they kind of like put at least one in each type uh, class type because I don't know what type of class uh, I'm gonna fit best in yet or even if it works like that but regardless um they all look pretty cool in their own right I, I even though I'm not a huge fan of the uh Aerith skin I think I still want it for Horizon I did look up a tier list and I guess here Horizon's like one of the best characters so I guess I'll still use that if I try a Horizon and end up liking her. Uh, but the main ones I want to go for are the Yuffie Watson skin, the Valkyrie Yuffie skin, the Horizon Aerith skin, the Wraith Tifa Vincent skin, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I guess I'm going to get, I'm probably going to get the Crypto Cloud and the Newcastle Barrett skin on the way anyways, and if I end up liking those characters, awesome. That's what I'll end up using. But... Um, like I said, I'm gonna try going for the, the four girls, pretty much, and the Buster Sword, and if I get all those, I'll stop there. Chances are, I'll end up buying the whole thing, because, and if you buy everything out from the shop, you get a really cool death box with, uh, the one-winged angel death box, I guess it's called, and it's got, like, Sephiroth's wing on it, which looks pretty badass, and it, anytime somebody sees that, they'll know you bought, like, everything, so that's pretty cool. But uh, anyways, let's get into it. I'm going to buy the deals here first and see where we get. Here we go. And uh, if you buy the four packs, it guarantees you at least... Like, look, if you... I was looking at this already, too. Uh, if you buy the four pack, it guarantees 90% chance of a legendary and 10% chance of an iconic um, every time. Which, there's some really cool legendary skins for the guns uh, based off of a lot of the summons, which is super cool. Uh, so here... Let's get into it. Uh, an epic frame for your profile. That's Aerith's church. That's really cool. The stickers. We got Shiva, Red. Aerith, looking good. <laughs> that was Crypto in the new Cloud skin with the Buster Sword, that's pretty dope. Uh, pose for Newcastle, I suppose. Cool. Dude, I got, I got the skin. Wait, rare skin. Oh, wait, that's not, that's just a Horizon regular skin. But, dude, I got the iconic, um, Watson skin already for Yuffie. That's so sick. Okay, let's go. Oh, uh, wait, what? Why can't I just go right back into it? Seasonal. Oh, there we go. Okay. And, all right. So, the price isn't as good. Like, I guess the, um... The deals get worse and worse until there's no deal anymore after a while, but it just is what it is. Anyways, here we go. Okay. Don't really know what that stuff is, but that's okay. Uh, 
That's a cool frame. Uh, you look. It looks like it's in Shinra headquarters or something. And uh, this looks like uh, Yuffie's uh, jutsu moves. She uses different elemental jutsus. Um, yeah, that that's sick. I really liked playing as Yuffie in Final Fantasy VII Remake. So I'm excited to see what's in store for Rebirth, which is coming out next month. Hence this crossover event. Okay, more stickers. I guess you can put those on some of your equipment. Hmm, <clears throat> that's a skin with like a little materia in it. I think it, I'm not certain, but I think it's either based on um, one of Baird's guns or one of Tifa's gloves. It's hard to say. I, I'm not really certain to be honest. Let's get more of these. Um, these are them, right? Okay, cool. I don't want to be buying the wrong thing. Here we go. Okay. Ooh, look at this Abra skin. Is that like even... Just looks cool. That's not... Oh wait! That is a Moogle. It has a cool little Moogle on there. Sweet. I like that. Some of these Cactars. I guess these are called Cactics. Same sky. That's sick. Um, Teeth is sitting on the water tower in Nibelheim. Her hometown. Her and Cloud's hometown. Dude, I got the new Castle Barrett skin. Let's go. That's pretty sick. Okay. And 3,400. I can afford another one for now. Let's go. Okay. And, uh... There we got Shinra Headquarters. Oh yeah, yeah, three more. I, thought, I felt like that was my last pull for some reason, but for now. Okay. So I guess when you do these, it's not guaranteed a legendary every single time. Just a legendary guaranteed within your four pulls. Somewhere within your four pulls. So I thought it would be every, every single time. That's okay. So we're getting a legendary next then. That's what that means. These stickers are cool. Like Sephiroth and uh, I guess that's Crypto Cloud. We got the summon Ifrit here. And obviously that's God. Come on. Buster Sword. Imagine. Oh, well, speaking of Buster Sword, that looks like a Buster Sword uh, style gun. That's pretty cool. It's got the materia in there. Or a sword in general. It kind of looks like um, the uh, Ultima sword that he uses in the movie Advent Children. Which uh, takes place two years after the events of the original game. So yeah. Um, it's only got 1400 left. And I guess that's not enough for another one here for now. Uh, I'm going to continue this same video in a couple days. Uh, I'm going to get some more money before I pull again. Okay guys, I am back for day two of some pulls towards getting all the Final Fantasy VII stuff. I got this pack again, but and I know I previously said it usually costs this two of these packs and one of these to unlock all the Final Fantasy VII stuff, but I think in my case, just because I'm new to this game, I'm probably just going to get three of these packs and, and use the remainder to get some characters. Actually use the remainder of what I had um, for my previous day to get the Seasons Pass, since I will be playing a lot this month, I figured that could be worth it. Even though I'm going for the Final Fantasy VII skins, I saw that there were some more coins and stuff like that involved in the, in the Seasons Pass, so I figured that was worth it too. Uh, regardless, uh, let's get into it. So I go down here, and I'm going to be able to buy three of these, which means uh, 12 more points towards all the items collected, and 36 new items. Three of which are guaranteed to be legendary um, or iconic. So hopefully we get a few more skins here. Uh, let's get at it.
<laughs> Let's go. More stickers. Cool little legendary skin on the left there. Not exactly sure what that is to be honest. That's okay. Three remaining. Let's go. This is cool. I, I like the, the Bahamut and uh, this little attack skill item run menu uh, sticker they got going on there. That's cool. Okay, Tifa's bar. I was looking I was looking forward to this one. I'll, I'll use this on several of my characters, I think. The Moogle gun. Cool. Cool. Yeah, this is a super cute one. All right. Let's get some more. Uh nope, not those packs. These packs. Let's get it. Ooh, the Bahamut skin, the Mega Flare. I know that with a little bit of research, of course, but uh, that's based on this guy right here. Bahamut, he's, he's, you can't really see with this angle, but he's kind of got the Yu-Gi-Oh, like, blue eyes, white dragon look with, the, like, the horns on the side of his jaw there where his teeth come down. Um, but yeah, there's, that's Bahamut. That goes along for, uh, and Mega Flare is one of the attacks he does. Huge attack. That's pretty sick. I was looking forward to that gun. All the summon guns, I, uh, think are, are gonna be really cool. For you. Okay. Alright. That's the, not Aerith, but, uh, Horizon cosplaying his Aerith there. Yeah, I got the Ifrit Hellfire uh, skin. Cool, I was looking forward to that. That's this demon guy here. He does this huge, like, a like huge area, like, fire attack move that just covers all the ground. Pretty intense. It's usually, like, one of the first major summons you get. Dude, I'm getting them all. There's Leviathan. The uh, water summon, huge serpent. You can see in size comparison how big he is compared to uh, uh, Cloud, Tifa, and Bear there. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Like, I, that guy's colossal. It goes along with that gun there. Super cool. I think they called that one the tidal wave, one of his moves. So that's sick. Oh, if I click back, it goes right back here. Okay, cool. I'll remember that. So I can get four more. Here we go. Whew, let's get a skin. Let's get a skin. Uh, cool. This, like, Moogle frame. It kind of looks like, um, the Promised Land or something. I'm not certain. But, like, the land of the Setra or the Ancients, where, uh, Aerith's ancestors are from. I could be wrong about that, but it looks like it. Uh, I'll take that. <laughs> the, um, whoever cosplays with Yuffie, Valkyrie cosplays with Yuffie, <laughs> taking all the materia. That's great, because, uh, Yuffie's a materia hunter. From Wutai. Cool. Okay, this looks like one of Barrett's, um, Gatling, his Gatling gun or something like that. Kind of resembles what you see on um, the character who play who, who uh, you get Barrett's skin for. Um, yeah, it kind of resembles that. Forget his name. Newcastle, Newcastle. Shiva's Diamond Dust. This is cool, and Shiva's like an ice goddess. Um, some she's like. All these summons are like giant bosses you face, and then you can you can get them 
as summons and you can use them to your own advantage too. And uh, she blows this like extremely cold wind at her opponent's um, pretty sick ice move. And I think all these skins for all these summon guns are really freaking cool. I, I want to use them all. But yeah, that's that. We didn't get any of the, the um, character skins, but we got all of the uh, summon gun skins that I wanted. So that's cool. I guess we're going to pull all, all the rest of the good stuff on our final poll in a few days. All right, ladies and gents. Uh, we've got enough little crafting materials here to do one pull here. And then uh, it doesn't make a difference about doing four packs anymore because you don't get a deal on them. So when I get uh, paid next, we'll get the rest of these with single packs. Here we go. Let's get something. Okay, the uh, I think that's the Arcane Ward skin, which is a skill Aerith can use. Um, PV. Yeah, Arcane Ward. It's a magic attack Aerith uses in Final Fantasy VII that casts a spell around her, and then whatever magic attacks get cast in that, cast twice for the same... Uh, MP as a single move. At least in Remake, and probably Rebirth that's coming out soon, so. Well, that's that. I was hoping for an Iconic skin to use until Payday, but hey, it is what it is. And we're back on the final day of pulls. I just want to bring up one quick thing before we get into pulling, because there was a gill shop with some extra Final Fantasy VII event items that you could get just from playing the game, and using the seasonal currency or not seasonal but the event currency known as gill which is also the money that you get in pretty well any final fantasy game we've got gill right here and every week there's new stuff in the shop i'm not sure if i was there for the first week or not i would like i was so new that i wasn't i just i'm not sure if i was paying attention and if i if there was different stuff in the shop the first week or not but uh this was in the shop either the first or second week i'm not certain and this was another final fantasy 7 gear so i figured i should include it it's got chocobo pants interactive chocobo pants and you can't see the back of her but she's got a backpack on with a little chocobo on the back there and a little moogle headband so that's neat it's just epic rarity and all the other ones are legendary because of course you gotta spend money on the other ones but that's not necessarily true because there was one free pull um which we did uh there was one free one and then this week you could get a bunch of gill to get one more of these awesome right so this gives us another free pull, and with only this stuff left, we're guaranteed to get some stuff no matter what. Now it's funny because I remember earlier in the video, or like uh, a week ago or however long it was, I was saying that I wanted pretty much the four girls in the Buster Sword, and now look where we're at. Like, we only got one out of the five things I wanted, and we're saving the best for last, I guess, you know? But I actually do like all the skins, and now at this point in the game, I've been playing uh, a decent amount. I'm still a noob. But just to show you how much I've been playing, uh, like 300 games in. I'm exactly 300 games in here, so that's pretty cool. I'm still a noob, but I have been enjoying the game. I've been playing every day, getting all of the reward shop dailies for the gill. Daily challenges, I've been getting them all. I still have a couple more there to do of each, but uh, I'll get them. I've been going for as many of these weeklies as I can, which there's a frick ton of. I guess, I'm not certain, but I guess this is for the whole season. Every week there's a new set of challenges, and you can go back and get them all. So that's pretty cool. Regardless here, let's get into the pulls. Okay, so we've got this. Oh, yeah, yeah, and I bought... I'm getting quicker at navigating around here. And I bought a whole other $120 one, or... It actually comes to about 135 with tax, and this is Canadian dollars. I spent almost $400 on uh, this stuff. Uh, anyways, now, we're going to get one one of these. I waited to get enough gill just to pull because this is going to save me some. If I get this, then I'm going to have enough of the coins left over, the Apex coins, to get an additional character. So this was basically a character right here. So let's start with this, and then we're going to go in. Wait, what? Limit reach 0 to 1 available. <laughs> I was so excited for this. Oh, I guess it's because I got all the epics. Oh, uh, well, get this before you spend money, guys, if you're going to spend money on this game. That's funny. Oh, wait, no, it worked. What? So strange. All right. 
Two legendary skins. Sweet. This is the other Final Fantasy VII one here. Storm's Fury. Cool. Okay, I'm actually not certain what this is. Maybe it's one of Baird's guns looking like something else or something. I could be wrong by that. Let me know in the comments if uh, you know what that is. All right. Now, now that we've got that, let's get into the final packs. So we can do one for one and then a single. Too bad I didn't have enough of these uh, crafting medals for one more. I was so close. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we get the Buster Sword before the final pull. That'd be sick. Alright, we got the Horizon Aerith skin. Sweet. Oh yeah, one thing else I want to correct myself on. Uh, in uh, the previous few days, I kept calling the... Um, the the Moogle skin on, uh, on Watson. I kept calling her Yuffie. So I put little Moogle pictures up. When I was editing. That was incorrect. Valkyrie. This one. This one is Yuffie. This one is Yuffie. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to using this one. This is going to be sick. Probably the best looking one in my opinion. And then maybe the Newcastle Baird one is probably the second best looking one. Like in regards to like the actual Final Fantasy VII characters. Those two are like... Pretty little spot on. This one's really good too. The Crypto Cloud one. The pr I like them all. I I'm excited. But at this point, like it's more about... I've been getting into the guns. and that I looked up gun tier lists. And I've been messing around with all different guns. And like, you know what? This game is exciting. Like like you've seen, I've been playing every day. And uh, I think I'm going to continue playing it here. But... Oh, I definitely will be. But uh, here we go. Uh, how nice would that be? Give me a discount. No. <laughs> Look at that. You throw some Final Fantasy 7 stuff in a shooting game and uh, you get new players. I don't play shooting games. I There's the myth. There's the mythic. Sweet. Okay, I got it. Well, like, I've never really been interested in um, first-person shooters. Like, pretty well ever. But uh, I've been really enjoying this game and it's the Final Fantasy 7 skins that got me into it. So, anyways, now that I got all this stuff um, and I'm... Um, had 300 games down. Maybe I'll be decent enough to, uh... Ooh, I forgot. I got the, uh... One-Winged Angel Death Crate 2. That's so sick. And it's got the little Shinra symbol on the on the side of it. Let's unlock the characters. The, the Final Fantasy VII characters. We're gonna start with this one. Unlock Legend. Oh, it's just straight up unlocked? Sick. Equip that. So let's unlock Horizon. Yes. Unlock Legend. We're gonna equip Flower Girl to her. She still she looks better at her original, but I'm gonna use the Flower Girl regardless because it's Aerith. Now Newcastle and Crypto. Oh gold god, what's that looks badass. But we all know I'm using this one. Alright. No, like, epic little uh, chime when you uh, unlock a character or anything. It's a little strange, but okay. And Crypto Cloud. Unlock Legend. I'm gonna have a sim left over. I think I gotta lock four more Legends still. Holy. Set favorite. Equip. Four more Legends. Wow. Maybe. Well, if we're getting four of them, I think I should get another assault character and another controller character because I only have one of each. And then maybe I'll get Loba and Revenant? Sure. Man, my math is bad. I think I have enough for a fifth. Oh, I do. That's crazy. And then I'm going to have 12,000 soon for another character real soon. That This is sick. I think I'm going to go for Brantford here. Well, well, that's that. I've been enjoying this game. I'm going to continue playing, getting dailies, getting weeklies and stuff. Uh, but you know what? Like, I'm playing a lot of Final Fantasy too. So if you're like, if you're a Final Fantasy fan watching this video, I'd say, you know, that now is the better time than ever to give Apex a shot. Even if you don't like 
uh, third person shooters. I've been having a lot of fun with it. And if you're an Apex player that hasn't played Final Fantasy VII specifically, maybe you've played other Final Fantasies, but uh, we've got Remake that's already out on uh, PS5 and Steam. I think it's on Xbox too. I could be wrong by that. Uh, there's the prequel Crisis Core on Xbox and PS5 and Steam. You could you could get that uh, Crisis Core Reunion. That that's cool. And also we've got Reunion coming out next month. That's gonna be an amazing game. I'd say probably catch up on Remake first. You don't need to, but Reunion is a direct sequel of uh, Remake, which is going to be a trilogy. That's going to be a third part. So I do recommend playing Remake first, but you don't need to. And um, I make videos for the free Final Fantasy VII mobile game. You can check that out on my Twitch, uh, Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. It's also on Steam, so if you're more of a PC player, you could play it there too. Super fun. You can do daily missions, tons of stuff to do every day. They call it Final Fantasy VII Ever Grind because there's just so much to do. It's a free-to-play game, and they it's a gotcha game, right? So, but, like, if you like the aesthetics, if you end up liking the story, the characters, the Final Fantasy VII, I'd say give Ever Crisis a shot, too. Check out my videos on my channel and uh, see if they interest you. And there's tons of other content creators out there, too, that make great videos for it. But anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, I appreciate it. I also make videos on Twitch. Throw me a follow over there. Come say hi if you would. And throw me a like and a comment down below. Uh, who do you think I should use in uh, Apex Legends? Who's better? Who, who should I have unlocked? Maybe I'll unlock him next time. Let me throw one more thing here at the end of the video. I forgot I recorded some silly little clips of me being a noob with the, with the Buster Sword. I'm just going to throw those in right here. No commentary. Feel free to watch them if you'd like. I show my limit break and whatnot, so that's kind of cool too. All right. Cheers, guys. Scanning the area. Trust in the old father. There are unscotty to be found in this direction. Fight along with Dietrich. Last. Anyways, thanks for watching. Take care.